Round number one is brought to you by Dragon Energy. Not only helps you keep up with your fast-paced life, it helps you stay ahead of it. And uh, of course, these guys are going right to work here, Simon. Why wait? Let's get into it. Pity Van Royen trying to be first with some nice two-piece combos, but really good counters and solid footed movement from Tabatso at the same time. Both bring each other out, but I mean, just swinging away. I think it was a nice left hook from Van Royen, but that Malele gets straight back up to his feet. More of a flash than uh, knocked down than anything else, but Malele straight back to it. Still looking quite sparky. Going down low, following the fists. Is Vili Van Royen looking for a home for that left hook? Again is Vili Van Royen. But Malele still looking very dangerous on the outside. Had a good home for that up kick. Wow. Follows it with a nice right cross as well does Tabatso Malele. The speed of these two young men. My goodness, they are throwing hard here tonight. Louis Van Royen looking for his opportunity here. This has been back and forth action. Tabato Malele stepping his game up a little bit against Willie Van Royen. He knows he has to bring his A game because Van Royen has been on a hell of a streak. Nice, nice combination. Oh, and another nice left as well from Willie. He did eat a short little counter. Check left hook from Tabatso, who gets the takedown now. Van Royen looks to get back up to his feet. There's one hook, and he reverses into full mount. Does Van Royen. Now he's trying to scramble Maleli. He's going to get wow, back up to his feet. He wants to complete the takedown. What a back and forth scramble. And again, he's looking to get Van Royen down. What a war we got. A war indeed. This is a crazy scramble between these two. And now back up to the feet. Nobody able to get that top position as they are really jockeying for control here. Van Royen and Malele. Oh, swinging. Nice combination. Willie is putting them on it. Really swinging. Uh, using the underhook to get back up to his feet. The Vili Van Royen did well. He's thinking about the inverted guillotine at some point there or the front headlock. I'm not sure, but they separate. Really, two and a half minutes left in this first round, and it feels like they've gone five already. It's just been absolutely electrifying, both on the feet and in terms of the scramble, the reversals. Been absolutely fantastic, beautiful right cross from Malele and Van Royen just walked straight into that, but returns with a nice leg kick again, coming with a little simple left right combination. It's Van Royen trying to push us forward, gets a nice little left. Uppercut for Van Royen, but Malele is still looking so dangerous on the counter. Both fighters are really connecting this evening. Really laying it all out there. Van Royen, though, really kind of holding his spot in the hexagon, not giving up a whole lot of ground. But here comes Malele is going to kick his way into the center of the hex. We are under two minutes to go. The most action we've seen all night, all wrapped up. Here in round number one. Both lads exchanging leg kicks. Oh, big rights from Billy Van Roy. Tabatso Malele is looking Ooh. for the counter. Nice knee up the middle for Van Roy. Tabatso Malele comes back with a couple of swings. A nice left at the end of that combination from the glory of torture. This is absolute chaos inside of the hex. It just seems at certain points in this round, they both just bite down on their gum guards and just go hell for leather. Both fighters were really swinging, both scoring some decent points, both keeping their defensive guard up. Technically a beautiful display of kickboxing. Nice knee from inside the clinch from Vinny Van Royen. Malele's wow, coming back with massive right shots. I think the difference here is, is that reach of Malele. Van Royen has to fight his way in there. Malele is tagging him on the way in. Now Van Royen. Using the underhook, trying to keep him on the ground, and he's able to do so. And here comes some big right hands. Well, they're trying to get back up to his feet. Brian Ryan dumps him back down. He wants to score with just 30 seconds left now in this hellacious first round of this flyweight clash. And then he's still trying to get back up to his feet, but Van Ryan just keeping him pinned down there, getting the ground and pound working as much as he can, and taking shots as Mullally to get back up to his feet. Nice. Elbow from Van Royen, followed by the knee up the middle. He's looking for the knee in the clinch again is Van Royen. He's coming forward with Malele's covering up. He's got nowhere to go here. 
And Roy is trying to look for the finish, but Manella is just not going anywhere. Not at all, and then Royan looking to finish up the round, and he does. Yeah, look, both exchanging leg kicks, both fresh at the beginning. The movement between the two fighters were electric. You can see Van Royan there. There's the short little hook that got the knockdown, but Tabatso got Strega back up to his feet and just carried on firing, as you can see. Caught catching the leg, using it to get that right. Let's see if we can take a look at the takedown. Mulele just drove through nicely. And Royan using the underhook several times to get back up to his feet. And both lads just swinging. A nice right cross at the end of that combination. Fan Fan Royan looking for the home for that, that high knee from inside the clinch. Swinging away with his massive overhands was Tabatso, even though he was on the back foot. Well, probably takes the round for him 10 9 in terms of the most damage caused, but Malele not going anywhere, getting some nice counters of his own. Getting some good leg kicks going. Very even first round, even though Van Royen shades it. Will he take in center of the hexagon there once again? We've seen Malele fight his way through there. Both guys competing to hold on to that hex spot. And Van Royen has just given up that reach. And so far, Malele's been able to make him pay with it. He's been able to hit him from a distance, really find his range. But Van Royen has just been so much more active and has thrown more shots. He's been so busy. I'd hate to have to judge this one, Simon. Yeah. No, it's not going to be easy. Tabasa does like that teep kick to create the distance and then jump into the pocket or just create the distance and uh, wait for Van Royen then to come back at him. So it's a nice... You mentioned uh, using that reach advantage as Tabasa and just enticing Van Royen to get into the pocket and once Van Royen does, he does score with it and scores with power. He's certainly shooting with a lot of intent. And again, looks for a home for that, that right cross. Nice high kick from Tabatso. Oh, nice. Ooh, wow. Back kick onto the ribs from Van Royen scores. Good head of even Van Royen as he starts to exchange. Beautiful, cute little left uppercut cross from Van Royen to get into the pocket and then follow up with. So he did eat some shots as well, did Van Royen. Again, looking for a home for the big right and a good knockdown oh! for Tabatso. Wow. Tabatso, after taking four or five real clean shots, is able to give one back of his own and it stings Van Royen and puts him to the ground. Now Tabatso looking to capitalize. I think Van Royen has landed more significant shots, but Malele. Lands an absolute boom shot that drops Van Royen. What a battle. Yeah, I'd like to see on that replay on it. It was a slip or a shot. It looked like a good, nice little cute hook from Malele that got Van Royen down to the canvas. He get back up to his feet and uh, does the right way on the in the scramble to Van Royen. Again, just going for that two-piece. Van Royen dances out of the pockets. Malele comes forward. Now it's Van Royen who's thinking about the counter. Both fighters just taking a moment here just to get a bit of oxygen. Oh, leg kick for Van Royen for a nice, beautiful right high roundhouse from Malele that's acknowledged by Van Royen as they both start to swing for the fences again. But there was a nice high kick there from Tabatso Malele. And they're clinching around and around they go here. Malele diving in for the takedown. He's going to get it. Such an evenly matched fight here between these two as Malele now in a great position. And Royan already, it looks to be getting out the back and kind of coming around the back there. And he may have an opportunity if he can do so. But Malele able to keep oh. things in his position. But no, Van Royan will roll through. And back up they go. The scramble continues. Beautifully done for Van Royan, but good. Well done for Malele to stay in control here. It was a nice sweep. And Neil Van Royen to get with his feet. Nice knee from Van Royen. And then looks for a home for the little cute short elbow. Again looks for a home for that left elbow. Malele fires back with a couple of shots of his own. And this may just be, at the end of the day, one of those fights where both lads are swinging and can't finish each other. A nice short right from Malele as Billy comes into the pocket. Nice high knee from inside the clinch from the white line again. We might be going to the third round, and it may be just a matter of testing the gas tank and see if either fighter has any kind of power and speed left. 
after two incredible back and forth rounds. If they even get out of this one, we've already seen some great power shots here by both men. Under a minute to go here of a potential three round fight. Willie Van Royen looking to stay undefeated. Malele tagging him with the counter punches. Mavidi comes in with a nice body kick after eating a nice two piece combo from Tabatso. Again, that reach advantage working well for Malele. Going for the inside leg kick, but just getting out of danger. Nice body kick from Van Royen. Follows him with a nice right cross as well that scores well for him. Again, that two piece working well. Bit of zip, missing out a bit now out of Tabatso Malele's punches. As Billy Van Royen goes to the work, nice leg kick, but he eats a good right from Tabatso. Overreaches and a massive left uppercut that misses. Simon, this was uh, hot and heavy here, a lot of fast action. Some nice shots there for Malele. Again, that nice left hook coming forward, swinging away, just pushing the pace and putting Billy Van Royen on the back foot. There's that spinning back kick, I don't think handed significantly there. It's difficult to see, but there's the leg kick from Van Royen. It eats the nice cross from Malele that gets the knockdown. I thought it was a slip, but it was a legitimately good shot from Malele. A beautiful takedown, but then there was a nice sweep for Van Royen here. And we don't see beautiful body shot from Van Royen. Goes low very nicely. And don't be surprised if, if the judges have something different, if they're not all in agreement here. That's how close of a fight we have. Third and final round brought to you by Dragon Energy. The Cyrus V's commemorative can coming very, very soon. Three or four years in the making, but we're all looking forward to it. Only round three number three. three years. Only three or four years. I'm sure it's been uh, in the manufacturing plant for about six. But yeah, I'd say, I still look I'd forward say to right. it. Um, it's going to sell a lot of Dragon Energy, I'll tell you that much. Mr. International Edition going down to the body <laughs> with the left now. Is Vidi Van Royen targeting the leg still? It's about to Malele. Shoots out that big right cross, but this time just out of the range was Van Royen. Comes with a nice two piece to the right overhand from Malele, goes over the top. The calm nice. before the storm here. You know, now they're starting to pick up the pace. This is what we've seen all the way since the first few seconds of the fight. They take their time, but then they really pile it on. And now it looks like they're getting right into it, folks. I wouldn't be surprised if this fight ends, if we get a finish. Because these guys are landing hard, especially for their division. There's a nice jab from Tabatso that came through the guard. 30 bucks and nice elbows. One-handed old-school clinch from Malele. Left hand around the back of Van Royen's head and just used it to score short little right elbows repeatedly. Nice, dirty inside clinch work from Malele. Is it enough to steal this round? Uh, taking a couple of breathers is Tabatso and just eats a nice combination. And Van Royen is now flashing out that left jab and scoring repeatedly. Malele is taking a little bit of break, using that push kick again to try and create the distance to negate that offense for Van Royen. Now Malele comes forward and really starting to swing with all he's got, but good movement from Van Royen. Beautiful two-piece combination wow. from the white line and gets out of range, and ducks the counter so sweetly. Still got that bounce to his step, doesn't he, Simon? He is still very, very nimble in there. Very, very composed. Malele, though, always dangerous. And Van Royen has to be very, very careful. He cannot get too wild. Malele will make him pay. Nice left up the middle from Billy. Tabatso's coming forward, pouring out that left hand. This is a range finder. He eats a leg kick. Looks for home for the right, but no dice there. Good movement for Van Royen. He's still nice and light on the outside. Good footwork and head movement. Just negating that reach advantage from Malele, who's starting to hunt him down. It's another jab, does Tabatso. Again, looking for the oblique kick on the lead leg there. It's really Van Royen. It's something that he's adding into this third round. That's the second oblique I've seen from him, I think. Oh, massive Under two minutes Malele. left here. As Malele walks through, showing some urgency. 
knows that he needs to turn this round back around here to his corner. He's going to have to land. He's going to have to score some points here. 90 seconds left here in round number three. As Malele starts to pour it on, Van Royen, no doubt, will have an answer. Yeah, Tabasso Kim's coming forward. A bit more of a patient uh, stand-up work from Vili Van Oh, beautiful right cross for Malele. Stings Vili Van Royen. Impels Malele to try and look for the finish. Van Royen doesn't seem to be too bothered by that beautiful right shot from Malele that scored sweetly. Probably the most significant shot of this round, if not the fight. But Van Royen just continues to bounce from the outside. Good defensive work. Gar still up there. Blocks the high roundhouse. Oh, another nice right for Malele. This is a much better end of this, of this third and final round for Tabatso. And ending the round is so very important in a tight fight. You have to come out there. The last thing the judges see is you throw in a flurry, you land in a big shot. That could be just enough to put you over the top and to pick up that round 20 seconds. Yeah, they've got to fish strong, and both lads have given absolutely everything. And they're both sucking in huge amounts of oxygen to try and recover a nice right again from Tabatso Malele. And Royan dances out of the range of any follow-up from that shot. What a great fight, great fight. First you saw Ntando Zondi um, in a superb fight against Mpumalele and Gorma, and then going into here, Tabatso Malele and Vidi Van Royen just went to war, went toe-to-toe -to -toe in that first and that second round. Both guys having moments in the ascendancy, like those that beautiful repeated short right elbows with a one-handed clinch from Malele, going old school. That beautiful two-piece combo and ducking out of the way of the counter for Van Royen. There's that right that stung him. Made him really reassess the Billy Van Royen. Using that reach advantage very well with Malele, making Van Royen pay. I mean, Van Royen was first to the punch a lot of times, but uh, Malele's counters were so effective Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these two warriors a big round of applause. After three rounds, we go to the judges call card for a decision. The judges call this contest 29-28, 29-28 and 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated in the blue corner, Philly, the White Lion. Fun roll!